Oh yeah. A story YouTuber? No. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm doing surfing. Oh, surfing. Oh. Are you a professional surfer? Semi professional. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's me, Tony Depp from AbsoluteAbility.com. Today I want to talk to you about nice guy syndrome and why being way too nice is probably keeping you from getting laid, getting girlfriends, finding the love of your dreams so you can ride the unicorn off into eternity together. So in this video I'm going to give you 13, 13 reasons why nice guys are totally revolting to beautiful women. So let's start right away with number one nice guy behavior number one and that is inauthenticity inauthenticity basically means being fake you're not who you're pretending to be you ever have a beggar come up to you and he's like hello sir hi how are you and you think hey this guy just wants something he doesn't really care who i am or what i want or how i'm doing this person just wants me to give them some change so they can go smoke meth behind the 7-eleven well, that's the same feeling that nice guys give to women when they're really, really nice to them, so polite, so accommodating, and it just comes across as fake. It comes across like they want something, they want some loving, they want to get, they want to get in the bed with that girl, and they don't really care how she's doing or who she is or what she believes in or what her passions are or how long it took her to do her makeup. They don't care. They're just pretending to be really nice so that they can get in her pants. And it's not authentic, it's not real, and it doesn't work. Let's move on. Nice guys are way too passive, so this lack of assertiveness comes across when they don't make a move. So you might be on a date with a hottie, and you're wondering when's the right time to make a move, when should you touch her, when should you kiss her, when should you go for it? And because you're worried about making a mistake, maybe coming across as creepy or too aggressive, you know, you do the nice thing and you don't do anything, you don't make a move. So like, nice guy behavior, when you're, when you're not assertive, when you don't take initiative, it comes across as weakness, it comes across as insecurity and doubt and all of these behaviors that beautiful women don't find attractive in fact they find it off-putting completely so you want to be be taking that move you want to be taking that risk you want to be trying to kiss her trying to touch her trying to get closer to her or even making a risky joke like you can make a fart joke or some joke that you might say to the boys but you don't want to say it to the to the hottie because it might offend her well that just shows that you're afraid of offending her and it's just, it's just not very assertive. The next sign that you're way too nice is neediness. So here's a story. When I was a young lad, there was a woman, a beautiful lady who worked at a coffee shop. Man, she was, she was sexy as, sexy as all hell, right? And I used to go in there and drink coffee and she would kind of flirt with me and I could tell that she, she liked me. She probably liked my, my chiseled jawline and beautiful eyes. Anyway, I just, I was so needy and I didn't really know how to make a move. So what I did to show her that I liked her instead of just asking her out is I went to a flower shop and I bought her a bag of seeds because I thought when she plants these seeds and the flowers grow in months and months and months later, she'll look at those flowers and think of me and she'll see that as a metaphor for our relationship. So what she did is she took the seeds and she kind of frowned at me and then she took out a pen and she drew a picture of me with the most nice guy image you can imagine, just sad puppy dog eyes on my sweet face. And I looked at that picture and the picture said, said a thousand words. It said, Tony, you're really needy and I don't want to have sex with you. Don't put your penis anywhere near my vagina. You're way too needy and it's kind of creepy. Stop being like that. That's what that picture said. With one look at that picture, I knew. So you don't want to be needy. This is like a, a typical nice guy behavior. You're seeking approval. You're seeking validation. I really want her to say, oh, Tony, that's such a sweet thought. Now I understand how deep and soulful you are. Here, put your cock in my mouth. No, that's not how it worked, actually. She just found it to be very juvenile and weak, and it didn't work at all. So don't be needy. Women don't like it. Men who are way too nice have a distinct lack of boundaries. So I had a girlfriend once and on one of our first dates, she showed up about a half hour late and I cooked dinner. 
I spent all this time creating this really great meal for us and she was late. And so I said to her, hey look babe, I think you're great, but I just spent a lot of time cooking food, I bought the groceries, and so I'd really appreciate it if you were, you were on time from now on to our dates. And she was never late again. I went out with her for a year and a half and, and she used to rush. I, I told her, babe, don't speed, okay? Like, it's okay to be a little bit late because she was speeding through red lights trying to get to our dates on time. But you have to set boundaries in relationships, not just with women, but, but the nice guy. He lets people walk all over him. He's, he's a simp. Think of Marty McFly from Back to the Future, the nerdy dad of... of uh, or no, George McFly, sorry, George McFly, the nerdy father of Marty McFly, and how Biff the bully just walked all over him and he never set boundaries. He never said, hey man, uh, stop touching me, don't touch me, don't bully me, you know, piss off. And so, and so, if you don't stand up for yourself, people are gonna walk all over you. And even in a relationship, in a, remote, in a romantic relationship, if you don't have boundaries, She's going to walk all over you. She's going to take you for all you're worth and she's not going to respect you. This is very typical nice guy behavior. So set boundaries in your relationships. You don't need to be an asshole about it, but you need to know when to say, hey, no, I don't appreciate that. Don't smoke cigarettes in my house, right? Like take your shoes off when you come in my house, please. Uh, simple things like that or asking a woman, you know, to bring some ingredients when you're cooking dinner. Ask her to bring something to the dinner, bring something to the table. Don't just provide, 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 and say yes to everything. Another incredibly creepy nice guy behavior is expecting rewards for niceness. So this is really normal, like a guy will uh, somehow get a date with a hottie, you know, maybe he'll meet her on Instagram or something, and he'll take her out for dinner. And because he spent two or three hundred dollars on this lavish dinner, he expects a reward in the form of some attention from the woman, some validation, a kiss, a blowjob, you know, something like that. He expects because he was so nice to her, because he opened the door for her, or he bought her dinner, or he bought her a dress, usually it involves money, or he did something like this, or he went out and did all her shopping for her, you know, he tried to save her like a knight in shining armor that now she's gonna be attracted to him. But that's not how the, the female attraction mechanism works, right? She'll just see you as a provider. She'll see you as, as a friend, as someone who's going to do favors for her, but not someone who she feels attracted to and, you know, wants to hop in the sack with. No, that won't be you. Nice guys will often hide their true feelings from a girl they like because they're afraid of rejection. So here's a story. I was, I travel a lot. Right now I'm in El Salvador. A while ago, a few years ago, I was in Bulgaria and I met this really stunning Bulgarian woman. She was like 27 years old and just, mm, so fine, right? And she liked me and I liked her. So we were spending the day together. We went out uh, to a restaurant. We went to a nightclub, we were dancing. And I kept trying to, you know, put my moves on her, but she wasn't having it because she's Eastern European and they're different. And she said to me, look, Tony, I don't know what you're trying to do, but I'm not down. It's kind of weird, you know, just chill out. And so I just said to her, you know what? I've just never made out with a Bulgarian girl before. I think you're hot and I want to make out with you. And you know, within minutes we were making out and that's all it took was for me to tell her exactly what I wanted and why. Right? Whereas most guys might tuck their tail between their legs, uh, you know, go, oh, I got rejected, get butt hurt, you know, cry about it. No, you know, you can, you can just tell a woman what you want. I know I've been your best friend for three years, but actually, I think you're hot. I would love you to be my lover, my girlfriend. I'd love to, you know, fornicate with you under the bleachers at school. Um, <laughs> whatever, maybe not say that, but you, you want to eventually tell her how you feel because a nice guy is so afraid of rejection that he'll never make a move. He'll never say what he really feels. And when a man says what he really feels, what he really means, it's so attractive. It's so authentic. It's so strong, right? So don't hide your feelings. Explain how you feel and she'll at least respect you for it. Really nice guys who get friend zoned always have a lack of mystery. They just put everything on the table. They meet a girl they like and they're like, oh yeah, I really like to play soccer and I like video games and uh, I'm into Bitcoin and uh, my sister farts a lot and they just put everything out there and, and they say everything that they feel 
and they give away their entire life for free. And the girl, you know, she doesn't really, she doesn't really have to dig it all. She doesn't have to figure out who you are. You know, a bad boy has a bit of mystery. Who is this mysterious stranger coming through town on a horse, right? Who is this cowboy? Who is this, this biker? Who is this, this naughty guy that's so mysterious? Who is this, is he a movie star? How is he so confident? How is, how is Tony so mysterious that I just wanna grab him by his pectorals and stick my tongue down his mouth? <laughs> oh man, I'm, free, I'm freestyling here, okay, give me a break. But you wanna have some mystery, don't give it all up at once. You can always say this line, you know what? I think I'll tell you later. You know what, that's a long story. How would I tell you, I tell you tomorrow. Just leave her hanging. You know, you can study story, story craft. You can look up script writing or how to write a novel and, and they'll t always tell you to leave a cliff, cliffhanger ending, right? Like, for example, if you wanna know, if you wanna know the, the best piece of advice that's going to take you from nice guy to the bad boy that all the hot women wanna hook up with, you're gonna have to watch till the end of the video for number 13. Nice guys are always way too agreeable. They're basically yes men. Like, a girl that you have a crush on might say, oh babe, you know, like, like I'm kinda broke, could you lend me 50 bucks? And you'll say, yeah, sure, here's 50 bucks. Which you might never see again if she's a, if she's a real piece of work, right? Uh, or she might be like, you know what, um, I want to go to the suburbs today to visit my grandma, but I don't have a car. Can you drive me there? And then come back and pick me up at seven o'clock and a nice guy will say, yeah, of course. When in reality, hell no, he doesn't want to be her taxi, right? Like a, a guy with some, some balls would say, you know what, I'm kind of busy today. Uh, maybe you could take an Uber or do something else. Talk to a girlfriend because you know I've got stuff going on today. Right? Whereas a nice guy will be afraid that she's gonna lose attraction for him when he says no. Actually, she'll probably gain respect for you because you, you say no, right? It's okay to say no, you don't have to be a yes man. Well, you should say yes to more things in life to get out there to be more social and meet people. You don't wanna be a yes man and just provide for everybody else and don't, without having any concern for your own well being. A lot of nice guys also have no initiative. They're just not moving forward in life. Like a lot of them are stuck, stuck in dead end jobs or they're just subservient to alpha males, you know, bosses who have initiative. Women are really into guys who are leaders, who are taking initiative, who are doing things in life. They're starting new ventures. They're writing books. They're joining triathlons. They're the lead singers in bands. You know, they're doing things, they're going places. And if you're not doing anything and you're not going anywhere, why would a beautiful woman want to align with you? It's just going to be boring. Nice guys are always way too available to women. You know, like maybe your best girlfriend who you've been crushing on for a year, she has a problem and she wants you to solve it so she starts texting you and instantly you reply to her because you're worried that if you don't reply to her, her attraction will disappear, she'll forget about you. And this is needy, this is nice guy stuff. Don't reply to her message. Don't be available. You know, if she wants to go out on Saturday night for dinner before she goes out with her girlfriends, just say, you know what, I'm actually pretty busy with the boys tonight, maybe call me tomorrow. Just be unavailable sometimes. It'll make you more mysterious, sexier, more attractive, and she'll start to wonder, where is he? Is he out with a girl? Why is he too busy for me? He's always available for me. What changed? This one is a very feminine problem, but nice guys always put others before themselves. And while that might sound very chivalrous to always be more concerned about other people, to do things for other people, it's a really cool way to be, but it's not always that attractive to women because again, it's not authentic. You might be putting her needs ahead of yours, but that comes across as needy and try hard and desperate and thirsty rather than charming and chivalrous and cool. That doesn't mean you should always be completely selfish but make sure to put yourself first. You don't wanna always expect a certain outcome. Like for example, you, you meet a girl on Tinder and you send her a bunch of, bunch of messages and you talk for a few days and then when you ask her to meet you, she doesn't meet up with you, so you get upset. Or you meet a girl and you get her phone number and then when you text her, she stops replying, so you get upset. Only nice guys 
get upset when the outcome doesn't work out. You have to become outcome independent. A woman can tell when you meet her if you're so concerned about the outcome, like you hope you get that date, you hope that she likes you, you hope you get a kiss, you hope you get her number so bad that she senses it sort of needy, it stinks, it reeks of desperation. So don't be so attached to the outcome. And the final nice guy behavior that women hate is passive aggressiveness. It's a sort of internal conflict that, that people can just pick up on. Like why is this person sort of grumpy or sort of angry or sort of brooding? And nice guys always seem to have this problem and that, that they want the girl, maybe they want that outcome, but they don't get it and it just builds up as a sort of resentment inside them. And the next thing you know, they become a school shooter. Like people can tell. You want to get that sorted out. You want to start reading self-help books and deal with this internal conflict. And then you might start getting more dates when you're really fulfilled and happy and you love yourself and you're not so attached to getting your validation from this girl, then you're gonna be a lot more successful in dating, a lot more successful with attraction. All right guys, if you wanna meet more women, if you wanna become better and less of a nice guy, you should grab my free report down there called the Fearless Approach Blueprint. It gives you an amazing technique to get rid of your approach anxiety so that you can meet women anywhere, anytime. It's totally free. It'll also sign you up to my emailing list where you'll get exclusive content from my website. I'm an amazing writer, you should know that. I'm a much better writer than I'm a YouTuber. So until next time, adios. Oh, he's all wet. Hey buddy.